Winston had nothing to do. He had been parked up in a siding for days. And quite frankly, he was bored. He closed his eyes and drifted off into a deep sleep. A little while later, he was rudely woken up by the sound of a car engine, accompanied by a loud beep beep sound. And for a split second, he thought he was staring into a mirror. Hello Winston, said the new arrival. I'm Wesley, and I've been sent to help you inspect the track. Great, said Winston. It will be fun to work together. Winston and Wesley chatted away happily about their adventures. Both, it seemed, had a great sense of fun. I've got a great idea, said Winston. Let's play some practical jokes on Thomas. A short while later, Thomas was waiting at the station when a truck, seemingly running under its own power, came speeding towards him. He just couldn't believe his eyes. He closed them tight and when he opened them again, the truck had vanished. Winston and the truck stopped by Wesley and all three of them laughed and laughed at the trick they had pulled on Thomas. Thomas was still wondering how the truck had moved under its own power when Winston whizzed past him and disappeared out of sight round a bend in the track. Then almost immediately, Winston, although it was really Wesley, whizzed past him again. Thomas couldn't work out how Winston could apparently be in two places at the same time. Next day, Winston pulled up alongside Thomas and then reversed rapidly back out of sight round the bend. No sooner had he disappeared than he appeared on another track. He pulled up on Thomas's other side and then speedily reversed back out of sight. Again, Thomas had no idea how Winston could be in two places at the same time. On the third day, Thomas saw Winston's bonnet peeping out from behind a shed. There was nothing strange in this, except that his boot was peeping out from the other end of the shed. Winston, it seemed, had overnight turned into a stretched limo. The terrible twins eventually decided that Thomas had suffered enough, and that evening both cars pulled up beside him. Finally the penny dropped, and Thomas realised how he had been tricked. He joined in the joke, and all three of them laughed and joked until late into the night. <laughs>